Thank you for watching another video. This week I made an early season trip south to fish with Jeff Hansen with Madison Muskie Guide Service. Our plan was twofold. We were going to spend the morning casting spanky baits over the weed tops trying to catch a couple fish and you'll see in this video we did that. In an upcoming video we spent the other half of the day trolling and we also had success doing that. If you want more information about muskies, check out our new podcast. We, had, we started a new one a couple months ago. It's called Backlash Podcast. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Podbean, and Spotify. Check that out, and thanks for watching another video. Oh yeah, big one. Got him, got him, big one. Yeah, that was a big one. Let me know when you want me to take him. He been late and lazy. Was he? Oh yeah. Well, you turned him into an eater fast. Almost botched that one. Right oh, you had her better than we thought, huh? Yeah, she wasn't getting it off. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh yeah, she's a nice one, Jeff. There, 45. Yeah. Ooh, 45 and a quarter. Nice fat, fat, fat fish. Absolutely whacked that gangrene spanky 99 at the boat. Healthy, healthy fish. Let's get her back. Boy, what a girthy fish. Yeah. Yeah, she's a tank. Thank you. There she goes. We're going to take a minute here and talk about uh, the importance of the figure eight. I can't emphasize enough how important a good figure eight is after every single cast. Here I'm throwing a Spanky 99, but regardless of what bait you're throwing, a good figure eight is very, very important. Um, I like really doing them. When you're bringing it away from the boat, I'll bring it up higher, but then when I'm bringing it towards the boat, I bring it down. That way the fish really is paying attention to your lure and not paying attention to you moving around in the boat. When you're swinging it out and up and high, the fish is looking up, up at the sky, and they're not going to see anything anyway. But um, when you're bringing it towards the boat, you want that fish's attention to go down. And then a lot of people will have questions about what to do when a fish bites on a figure eight. Me, I just will keep figure eight until that fish has got the rod bending over and is fighting. I do not set the hooks whatsoever on a fish on a figure eight. When they come up and grab it, they usually will close their mouth on it and turn their head. And with this no stretch line, I'm using an 80 pound high seas grand slam braid. Um, when the fish come up and grab it and these heavier, extra heavy rods that I'm throwing, the minute the fish grabs it, turns their heads, they hook themselves. I mean, the, if you are really methodical about keeping your hooks really, really sharp, the hook, fish are gonna hook themselves. They just have so many people miss them because they, they hear from everybody else that you gotta swing the bait back the opposite direction, but then you end up getting slack line if you don't do it right, and you end up missing fish. So I've caught way, way, way more fish on figure eights on any bait, just figure eight until the rod loads up and let the fish fight, and you get a lot higher percentage of them versus trying to set the hooks. And the worst thing you could do is, a lot of people that are customers that I have, and the minute they see the gills flare, they're yanking up on the pole, and you're for sure not gonna get them that way. So if you just keep figure eighting, you're gonna hook a lot higher percentage of them than trying to do any form of hook set on your, on your figure eights.
He smashed you at the boat too? Yep. I had already done a full figure eight and I know he fall. Take him right up front. That one doesn't weigh as much as the last one. <laughs> oh, look there. He uh, just barely, barely nipped that thing. You got him though. Gangrene spanky. Chunky fish, Jeff. Yeah, not quite as chunky as the last one, but she's a nice one still. Every one of these guys is built. Nope, no tag on that one. Put them on the musky bumper. 34 and three quarters. Nice. Nice chunky little guy. Mm-hmm. Get him back in the water here. Oh, he's gone already. All right, we're gonna talk uh, about spanky baits and some of the different ones that uh, Team Rhino carries and the different applications that I use them for. Uh, to start out with the small ones here, these are the Fireflies. This is in the Margarita pattern. This was a really, really good one for me this spring. I use these a lot in May. Um, bring them in, burn them in pretty fast. Uh, fish like them fast in early season. And depending on your water colors, like this was, was really good in like a light green tint. Clear water, I'll use like a white or a smoke or a more natural color, but this margarita is a really, really good color in Madison and anywhere else that I fish with a little bit of green water. But uh, I'll use these mostly in May. And if I'm pike fishing throughout the season in June or later on, I'll use them for that. They're really, really good for that. Um, catch a lot of big largemouth bass on these also. Um, another one that I like early season is the uh, St. Clair Special. Sometimes the fish in the cooler water do not like the uh, double bladed stuff, they like the single bladed stuff. And a lot of times under pressure, the muskies um, that have seen a lot of double bladed bucktails prefer a single bladed bucktail. The St. Clair Specials got popular on Lake St. Clair, that's why they're named that. Um, guys trolling them, but then guys started casting them and started hammering a lot of fish on them. I've got a lot of big fish on them. Um, so then Spanky started getting requests for them for casters. Uh, this is a hot perch color. This is a really good one in, in dirtier water. Water, a dirty brown or a dirty green but there's a lot of times that that single blade uh, makes a difference if the fish are seeing a lot of baits that single blade will make a difference there's a new single bladed one that Spanky has out called the munchkin it's called a single nine um, I'm using that more starting in June and then I'll throw that throughout the fall but that is a really really unique thump like again if under pressure if the fish are seeing a lot of double bladed baits um, there's a lot of guys out fishing a weed line see guys throwing double bladed baits that's all I'll go behind them with a the single blade a lot different thump a lot different vibration um, these these munchkins put a lot of fish in the boat already and have been great and that's uh, a new product from spanky baits that team rhino just started carrying ah, i got one Buddy, that thing inhaled the spanky. And she wasn't getting off. Need something? Need players or anything? Cutter? Stuck with both hooks here. Maybe I can cut it with that. Is it what came through? Put no sense fighting it. Oh, the hook out of him. It's not a real giant no, at all. He's been uh, hooked before and looks like somebody didn't take very good care of him. His jaw's beat up a little bit. We'll uh, get the scanner out here. Another one on the gangrene spanky. That color's been on fire today. Yep, nice job, Jeff. Throw him on the musky bumper, let's see how long he is. Surprisingly, he's 34 and a half. Yeah. Alright, let's get him back.
All right, we'll talk about uh, the rest of the Spanky lineup here. Here's a double eight. It's a Team Rhino exclusive color called Harley. Um, I use these usually starting end of May if the season's been warm. I caught fish the last week in May on them, and I'll use these all the way up through October, even in early November. Um, I tend to go some of the bigger sizes in November, but the eight's good for most of the season. Uh, some guys, are, they're openers in, in June, and you start throwing those right off the bat. Um, this color I particularly like. The first hour light, last hour light, um, really, really good bait. The double eight spankies cast really well, blade spin, uh, really great, great bucktail. The next size up from that is the 99, one of my favorites. My biggest muskie I've ever caught casting, 54, was on a Spanky 99. This is another new uh, Team Rhino exclusive color called Gangrene. Um, you'll see in the video uh, multiple fish being caught on this bait. Uh, really, really hot color this year, those lime tip chartreuse blades. This 99's got an extra half ounce weight in it and really, really cast well. One of the best casting bucktails, even against the wind. Um, really, really great bucktail. Caught a lot of big fish, like I said, up to 54 on those Spanky 99s. And then the uh, Double 10 from Spanky Baits, another another great bait. It can be casted or trolled. Um, caught a lot of big fish on those. My biggest personal fish I've ever caught, 55 and a half, was on a Spanky this size, Double 10s. Again, this is the Harley size. Uh, this is really good in dirty green water, dirty brown water, or even in clear water. I'll use this the last hour light. Um, or first hour right away in the morning, uh, great bait. Then uh, we'll talk about the next size up from that will be the uh, Shocker 10s from Spanky's. This one's got four skirts on it, so it's a little bit bigger profile. And like, has two more skirts on it than the, than the regular 10. So if you're, a lot of guys trolling on St. Clair like the big profile, or trolling anywhere like the big profile, or if you're fishing after dark, that's when I really like these Shocker 10s, is after dark. This is a black and smoke pattern. Um, the Team Rhino carries these. This is a really, really good one. I've got some big fish after dark on that one. And if you want the super size, we got the Mega Shocker. This is a Black Widow pattern. Um, this has got the eight skirts on it, and really, really a big, big, big blade. A lot of flash, uh, a lot of big fish out east of being caught on these. Uh, the St. Lawrence of Ottawa, I know of a bunch of 55, 56 inch fish that have been caught the last year on these. Um, I've caught some fish in Madison on these too, but primarily that up I'm throwing these is, is after dark or real low light and the slow roll on them after dark. Um, with that big, big profile or real, real dirty water too um, really gets those fish to pound them. But again, that's uh, the lineup for, for spanky baits and uh, high quality bucktails, heavy, heavy wire, heavy blades, and they spin every time. Uh, great baits, got a lot of big fish on them.